Hi guys, so just got home from work as you guys can see and I got a package that I'm really really excited about and I'm gonna show you guys why. Just let me take my earpods out. Oh oh take my earpods out, take my shoes off. Oh I'm so tired, I'm so sweaty. Alright guys, so I bought let me show you guys this door to begin with, right? So it has some little scratches on there here and there that happened like since we were moving in and nothing really happened about the scratches. So I bought this marble contact paper, which I thought was gonna be um bigger. And I thought it was gonna be wider as well. And I'm gonna put it on the door so the door has that cute marble look. I need it for the aesthetics because this space I'm gonna use to take pictures for something that I have coming up and just to you know be my little backdrop in general so I'm gonna change cool down a little bit and then I'm going to attempt to put it on the door so you guys will see all right guys so I have this old Starbucks gift card is it old it is I don't even see an expiry date However, I have this old Starbucks gift card and this is the contact paper. And I'm gonna try to put it on the door. Maybe I should get like a scissors or something. Let me see. So I have my box cutter. And what's so crazy is I've wanted the contact paper for a while because the organizer that I have inside of the living room with like my makeup and stuff, I've wanted to put contact paper on top of that for a while. So. Definitely glad that I finally decided to get the contact paper. Now I've never done this before, so I obviously don't know what I'm doing. But we're gonna try to make it work. It can't be that hard. Now can it? I was gonna buy two rolls and then I'm like, no, I should be fine with just one. Because it should be long enough. Oh gosh, maybe I don't have enough. What is it, 10 foot? Who knows? So I'm trying to like peel it back off. Because I think this is typically how you do it. Like, Peel it down a little bit first and then stick it on, kind of, and then use the gift, the gift card or whatever card you have. So guys, it's already on like up top. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, yeah, you can see what's up. And I'm gonna just pull down on the back and like just scrape down with my arm. So I'll stand over this side. I'm expecting an order and it's saying that my order is in transit. So love that for me. Oh, I hate that it's not like all the way in the corner like I'm expecting it to be. It's a little annoying. <laughs> you have got to be crapping me. You guys, the whole roll is done. It's, it's like it was just enough to do one part of the door. Wow, that's crazy. That is so wild. Let me see how many more rolls I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna buy three more rolls because, like I said, I wanna do the top of, of the thing. Oh. Wow, let me see if I can find it on Target and if I can, then I'm gonna buy it on Target and have them deliver it today because Target has that option. So I'm gonna go see. Hi guys, so uh, it's a little bit later. I ended up finding the uh, contact paper on Target and I ordered it. I also made an impulsive purchase. And this is where the video transitions. I got the order from Target which ended up happening that it was a different pattern from the one that was on the door before. And I got three rolls and just one roll was more than enough. So I have an excess of contact paper. I also got this new rug and got rid of the one that was here before. And this is currently what the door looks like. How cute is that? And I feel like it's a good 
aesthetic for like pictures in the background and whatever. I also did the top of my little storage area here and I absolutely love it. Now I'm not going to go Marvel crazy even though I am tempted to but I won't but I love how that looks and I still have three and pretty much a little less than a half roll of contact paper left so I definitely have those and this is where you guys will realize that the video transitions into something completely different from just putting contact paper on the door and I purchased the shelving unit that I wanted for the kitchen for a while now I already have one inside the bedroom here and I think I'm gonna play around with it to see what it looks like in the kitchen so I'm gonna move the one that I already have set up in the bedroom like clear it off move it and see how I like it in the kitchen since that's what's coming to go in there so I'm gonna take it down and see I'm gonna clear it off first so I'm gonna bring you guys Yours are so full of crap so the shoes I'm gonna take a picture to see what it looks like first so that I can reorganize it when I'm ready I'm so proud of this little corner here to be completely honest I've never been more proud of something that I did this corner here anyways I'm gonna take them down I took a picture so I know what the organization looks like so when I'm ready I can put them back on the new one that I'm currently buying What I did was I bought two to get it to look how I want it to look. Oh, but it's very sturdy. Oh gosh, the corner looks so naked without it. Now we're gonna bring this in the kitchen. I need to wipe it down, but at least I see how it's gonna look. Bring you guys up here. That's the corner that I'm very unhappy with at the moment, right? Let me wipe this off. I have a wipe, or I could just use paper towel and water, honestly. And I could always just put contact paper over these shelves too, to give them a little bit of a different look. So I need to move this stuff out of the corner here. Will never be thirsty or dehydrated. <laughs> so I have this, which I liked and it served me for as long as it did, but it needs to go. I was hoping it could go that way because that would really open up some more space but it can't I mean I could easily put it like that but it doesn't work like that so I'm not gonna I'm gonna just do it this way right and it's in the corner like that and I could really get two and that would be dope I'm gonna make the one work I bought these containers I'm gonna show you guys right now I bought these at the Dollar Tree these organizer bins and I could easily just walk out there right now if I want more. They're a little wide, but I want to put like the little food items in these, right? Something like that. So I'm going to pack them in there and then show you guys. Oh wait, I think somebody started shopping my order. Let's 
So let me show you guys what it looks like right now, all right? So with just those things on there, that's what it looks like. And at first I did this like that, I had it like that. And then um, my potatoes are in that one. And then I have this up here and that one is empty. But you know, it looks so much more organized and so much more together. I need to figure out a way to get rid of that spot because that is going to bother me. But yeah, I'm going to get a better basket up here. And I'm going to get put some candy in one bucket in one container and then I'm going to the fruits could probably go up there too you know let me show you guys what I don't want is for this to become like a catch-all knowing how my husband is that's probably gonna happen it's gonna catch some things I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the water. I think I could. So now with everything off the table, this is what the table looks like. So now all I have to do is just wait for my order to come in so that I can get the stand to make it inside of the room to put it back where it's supposed to be. The battery's dying.